Ladies and gentlemen, gather round. I've got a story for you that might just make you drop your coffee. Remember when saying Donald Trump was right was the quickest way to get a one-way ticket out of the CNN building with you carrying a box of all your things? <laughs> Good times. Well, very Jake Tapper has actually just said that on the air. And I have to assume that some people saw it. The most interesting part is that he still has a job. Let's get into it. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So let's just give this a listen. And, and uh, Kristen, uh, Glenn Kessler from the Washington Post uh, had a fact check about Joe Biden uh, from earlier this month, um, noting that Hunter Biden admitted in court in July that he was in fact paid substantial sums uh, from Chinese companies. Kessler wrote, Hunter Biden reported nearly 2.4 million in income in 2017 and 2.2 million in income in 2018, most of which came from Chinese or Ukrainian interests. But this, and this directly goes against what Joe Biden said in the debate in 2020 uh, with uh, Donald Trump. Take a listen. My son has not made money in terms of this thing about uh, what are you talking about? China. What you of that is president. true. He made a fortune in Ukraine, in China, in Moscow, that is simply and various not other places. True. So it's from two different debates, but I mean, if you remember. Biden went on and said, the only one who's made money in, yeah, well, what is it, China, is this guy. Remember that? Trump was right. I mean, he did make a fortune from China, and Joe Biden was wrong. I don't know that he was lying about it. He might not have been told by Hunter, but this blind spot is a problem. It's a problem, one, because Republicans aren't going to let it go, that's for sure. But also, these problems are continuing through the legal system. It's not as though this is something that's been settled in other jurisdictions and Republicans are just harping on it. It is an ongoing thing in our courts. It's not going anywhere. This is a blind... Now, did you catch that? Now, I tell you to pinch me, but I'm not dreaming. That was CNN's very own Jake Tapper. And just when you think that he's about to go full-blown truth-teller... He pulled a classic CNN move. Tapper said, I don't know that he was lying about it. Sure you do, Jake. He might not have been told by Hunter, but this blind spot is a problem. That's right. The old, he might not have known defense, classic CNN. And did you catch the obligatory Democrat CNN wench saying that the real concern isn't about the truth, but about those pesky Republicans who just won't let things slide? How inconvenient for them. So she was more worried about the Republicans capitalizing on the fact that Joe Biden lied about his son getting paid millions of dollars by foreign governments. He lied to the press. He lied to the American people when he said it multiple times during debates. Now, I have a question. Since when did CNN start calling out the big guy? It's like seeing a cat bark. It just throws you for a loop, right? And if Jake Tapper, of all people, is willing to say this on the air, what's going on behind the scenes at CNN? Remember the good old days when Jake Tapper was a respected journalist? Stop laughing. He really was. That was before the Trump era turned CNN into a 24-7 Trump-bashing channel. And now, with Tapper's recent revelation, one has to wonder, is the tide turning there? Or are the puppet masters behind the scenes just gearing up for a change in 2024? Because if they're willing to let this slip, who knows what's next? Either way, folks, buckle up, because the 2024 political cycle is shaping up to be one hell of a wild ride. All right, so that's it. Make sure to subscribe to our channel, share our videos with friends, stay informed, stay vigilant, and always remember to read between the lines and the lies. Thanks for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one.